So last night I had a dream and in the dream I had a dream like Martin Luther King, right? I had this dream. It was so real. It was so just lucid. I had I had to tell everybody this this dream was so vivid. But I'm in this dream and I have this like sage person come up to me and he's like I want to show you these cards. And he he shows me these cards and there's this this, there's this deck and there's like these pins like kingpin and, and stuff like that that you would see in chess and it was it with these these cards were specific to me but he said that everybody gets these cards before they get here well a, a deck of these cards before they get here and it's in the background you can't actually see it but it's this game that you play this game that you live in it's kind of like a video game you, you basically live in this world and he told me that this book uh, the the thing of cards is basically like tarot cards but it's individual so it, it's your cards all right and in this deck of cards is every single person that you're ever going to meet and how not not like run across at a store or something like that like like legit people like people that are going to be in your life for a specific amount of time even if it's like a week or a day or whatever they're in this deck and you have this deck of cards. Now there's specific people. Now I, I, this could be false. It could, this could legit be what goes on. This might have nothing to do with reality, but I just thought it was very interesting. And the people who are just going to incidentally come into your life are unaffected by any single thing that you do really other than a few karmatic things and your mental state but the people who are going to be in your life for an extended period of time are always going to be in your life and they're going to be in the life in your life in the capacity that they need to be in your life at but you can push them away and how you push them away is what state of mind that you're in. So if you're in a fearful state, anxiety state, if you're in depression, if you're in a positive mood, if you're in a like ultra positive mood, if you're in a, a ready mood to meet these people, if if you are in the, the vibrational pattern that you need to be to meet these people, you will meet them. Now, if something changes within meeting them, whatever that might be like if, if you meet them and you just you can't believe that th these people are in your life and you just you can't handle it at that time that card is going to be get pulled for a little while but if they're meant to be in your life for a further amount of time it will get back but you have to get to the mental state that allows that to happen so how do you know that that mental state is allowed to happen i guess it's known that it will eventually happen it was thought that it would be sooner but it's not now this could all be false but i just thought this dream was so amazing and this deck of cards also represents how many years you're going to be on the planet so this deck of cards represents the super religious are going to hate this video i know it but like this deck of cards represents how many years you are going to be on the planet and you have to play all of these cards and once you play all these cards you really did everything that you needed to do to come here and you might check out right like for example like my uncle my uncle, I'll just say my uncle. My uncle went to the movie theater, uh, to a movie with my aunt. And when he walked out of the movie theater, he dropped dead. But he was only like, he was my age. He was 43 or 44 or something like that, which is really crazy to think about. And he was the most lively, he uh, happy, go lucky person I ever met in my life. And I feel like he did everything he needed to do. And it was his time to check out. Whereas other people, maybe grumpy gusses and, and stuff like that they might be here for a very long time right this is why like this guy's such an asshole but he's you know he's, he's alive for so long that might be the reason why that happens i don't know you know this is just a dream but i really wanted to talk about it and this, this deck of cards was like something i i have only watched one of them but it was something out of like uh harry potter like it was just old deck of cards but it was your deck my deck of cards and only my deck of cards and what i pass on that deck of cards just disappears it's gone i played my hand right it was just so amazing to see how this worked and i was also shown in this this dream of mine different things that i've wanted to actually happen in my own life and the reason that it was pushed off for a little bit of time and the reason other things came into my life and the reason 
things fell apart when they did and the reason this happened and the reason that happened and this deck of cards but the, the these people or these events that that are in this deck there was also events in this this deck of cards that are going to eventually happen haven't happened because of my state of mind my state of being currently i couldn't handle it i would it's kind of like they say the universe tests you like if you're, you're if you're about to come into a bunch of money you will get tested on that so you'll suddenly win like a hundred dollar raffle at work or something like that and the universe wants to see how you're going to handle that hundred dollars before that it gives you how much you're actually going to get in the future and if you just go spend the whole thing like ravenously or like you win a thousand dollars and you just can't wait to spend it burn a hole in your pocket you can't wait to spend it you're not going to get that large sum of money yet because you have to learn how to appreciate what you actually have in your life if it's a person coming into your life maybe they are just the person you're looking for and you're just over anxious about that and it's it's just not somebody that you can handle right now or maybe they can't handle you right now maybe maybe it's maybe it's uh both parties right they can't handle you right now you can't handle them right now but you're going to be in each other's lives in the future it's kind of like that uh there was like this meme that i put out on my stories on instagram if you don't check my instagram out uh you know check it out down below it's linked down below and the reason you want it so bad is because it's yours in the future i might actually repost that one because i saved that one i think that that one hit me hard because there's these things that we want and we can see it and we can see, just see it unfolding and when we get part of it we you know it, it gets taken away for for whatever reason you know whatever that reason maybe this is deck of cards maybe there is no real deck of cards but there is like this system this karmatic system that monitors everything and when you've reached a certain vibrational pattern it gives you that and then you have to reach the next vibrational pattern to get it and you know you may never go back on that vibrational pattern you may always stay there and so you always keep that thing in your life but you have to reach you know this next whatever to get this new you know card or, or you know or whatever and the people who incidentally come into your life are probably coaxing you along or like whatever that word is to get to the next spot in your life but you can't handle that right now so you have to it or you can handle that and it just stays the people who meet their high school sweetheart you know in high school and they just always stay together because they were always uh it, within that reach of each other but like you know later on down the road or whatever it doesn't really matter but just the idea of this is really intriguing to me uh and that's why i made the video about it actually it's, it's very intriguing to me it's also intriguing it's kind of like this drawing that i've got going on right now uh I, you can see it here this drawing just came out of nowhere right this drawing is just out of nowhere and it just kind of is coming coming out of me as 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 things go on and it's just it's just happening in front of me like i i feel like i'm not even in control of this, this drawing is just kind of drawing itself just using my my hand but the guy that made those chicken soup books i can't even remember what they were about but they were like self-help books and he used to talk about you don't need to see the entire future in front of you you it, it's just kind of imagine like if you're driving or if you're on a bike and you got this this headlight in front of you you only can see where that headlight is pointing and you that's just enough to get you where you need to go and you don't need to see the broader spectrum of things because once you start seeing the broader spectrum of things it starts building this anxiety because you start living in the future or like thinking about the past i think the past is fear and the the future is anxiety you only have to know what's going on right now and it's kind of like that drawing it's kind of like these cards that i saw in my dream do these cards exist i don't know they existed in my dream and it's just it's really amazing <laughs> to think about like all that goes on in this and, and what because i've had people come back into my life or i've had people leave the life and, and just stay out of it or, or vice versa and it's just crazy to watch and you just can't figure out why it happens you ask yourself like well, how, why did that happen like i can't figure out why that happened maybe this is deck of cards i don't know maybe there's a different version of that for everybody maybe the cards made sense to me and that's why i was showing these cards but Anyway, I thought it was an interesting thing. I wanted to get it out there. I'm about to go eat dinner, though. So anyway, comments, questions down below. Like, subscribe. I'll talk to you in the next video. I, I don't know what video is coming out next, but I'm, I'm definitely going to uh, get some more interviews out there and different things. So I will see you in the next one.